forth, my deathless warriors. Destroy all in your path. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 live action remakes of animated movies we actually want. Okay, Boomer, now you know what to do. Yeah, leave it to me, leave it to me. For this list, we'll be looking at animated classics that could not only translate well to live action, but bring a fresh, innovative perspective to the table as opposed to being a shot-for-shot -shot cash grab. We're excluding animated films that already have live action remakes in development with major talent attached, such as Hercules and The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Which live action remake do you actually want? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The Croods Even when live action remakes are well cast, we often find ourselves longing for the original voice actors. I want to see some real caveman action out there. We do this fast. We do this loud. We do this as a family. And never not be afraid. Since the Croods already look a lot like their real life counterparts, DreamWorks can easily enlist Emma Stone to play Eep, Nicolas Cage to play Grug, and Ryan Reynolds to play Guy in a live action film. Who are you people? Oh, I'm sorry. We're the Croods! And you are? Uh, Guy? Bye, Guy! A few roles would have to be recast since Cloris Leachman has sadly passed away. For the most part, though, the filmmakers can keep it in the family. They could even bring back co-director Chris Sanders, who's branched out with live-action films like The Call of the Wild. We could go. You and me. See what's out there. What do you think? Throw in some real live sloths, and you could have a remake along the lines of the live action Flintstones, but with more wit and heart. Really? Number 9 Megamind. Being bad is the one thing I'm good at. Then it hit me. If I was the bad boy, then I was going to be the baddest boy of them all. Megamind had the misfortune of coming out a few months after another animated film about a redeemed villain, Despicable Me. While tonally and stylistically different, many initially saw the DreamWorks film as a copycat. How, how do I look, Minion? Do I look bad? Disgustingly horrifying, sir. You always know what to say. Although it performed below DreamWorks' usual standards at the box office, the film's following has bloomed, with an animated Peacock series being greenlit. Just think about it. We have it all. Yet we have nothing. It's just too easy now. Now seems like the ideal time for a live-action remake, especially since superhero movies are just as popular now as they were in 2010. If not more. Popular fan casting choices include Bill Hader as Megamind, Kobe Smulders as Roxanne Ritchie, and Zachary Levi as Metro Man. Of course, if Levi is busy as Shazam, the internet has also noted Metro Man's uncanny resemblance to YouTuber Markiplier. Make the memes reality! Number 8. The Princess and the Frog Although it was Disney's most successful traditionally animated feature in several years, The Princess and the Frog didn't ignite the box office as some studio executives wanted. Besides, you and I both know the real power in this world ain't magic. It's money! Buckets of it. Appreciation for the film has continued to grow, however. In addition to providing the basis for a Splash Mountain revamp, Princess and the Frog is getting a Disney Plus series centered on Tiana. I know exactly where I'm going, getting closer and closer every day. Writer-director Stella McGee, who's overseeing the Tiana series, initially pitched a live-action remake to Disney. Although the film didn't materialize, Disney chief creative officer Jennifer Lee was impressed with McGee, whose resume includes shows like Insecure and The Photograph. If the series succeeds, perhaps McGee will build up enough goodwill to make a live-action film. Can we at least get a Broadway musical already? I promise I'll pay your back. I promise. <laughs> Number 7. Rise of the Guardians We have a problem, man. While reviews were solid, Rise of the Guardians struggled to make enough money to justify its production and marketing costs. Although we can see why DreamWorks would be apprehensive about a live-action remake, there's an ingenious concept here that deserves to be elaborated upon. Got you all together, didn't I? 
we mean Jack Frost, Santa, the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy, and the Sandman forming an Avengers-esque alliance? There are numerous creative possibilities that we haven't even begun to scratch the surface of. If there are too many great ideas to condense into a movie, we could also see this working as a live-action miniseries, with each episode adapting one of William Joyce's chapter books. In any case, we can only envision one person playing a live-action Jack Frost, Tom Holland. No way! Number 6. Wizards <laughs> Follow me, Snow Queen. Before reading Tolkien's books, Peter Jackson's introduction to The Lord of the Rings was Ralph Bakshi's 1978 rotoscoped film. Given Jackson's success with Middle-earth, we'd like to see Hollywood take a stab at bringing another Bakshi film into the live-action realm. Well, old man, what are you gonna do about it? Wizards creates a world unlike any other, blending fantasy, sci-fi, post-apocalypse, and World War II. As is the case with most Bakshi productions, the story isn't very focused, which can detract some viewers. He's always been that way, and will always be the same. Ain't that the truth, boys? Yeah! Of course, that's all the more reason to remake this wildly inventive film with a fresh perspective. Director Robert Rodriguez would be a superb choice given his knack for combining gritty visuals with high concepts. Plus, the robot piece shares a resemblance to Boba Fett, a character Rodriguez is familiar with. Number 5. Tales from Earthsea Upon release, Tales from Earthsea was considered Studio Ghibli's dark horse. That's not to say the film was as bad as some critics proclaimed. Don't stand there! Think of something! The animation is breathtaking, its world is atmospheric, and the darker tone is appreciated. However, the story just didn't come together, letting down fans of Ursula K. Le Guin's fantasy books. No, don't say that out loud. You know what I think it is. <gasps> Le Guin herself was disappointed that the story strayed so far from her books, but she was impressed with the visuals. We guess that's still better than the sci-fi miniseries. You think we can muster up enough wizard power to pull it off? Maybe if we concentrate together. Although we'd like to see a live-action Earthsea adaptation more faithful to Le Guin's books, the film could borrow its aesthetic from Ghibli's version. For all its problems, the artistry in Tales from Earthsea can inspire something truly special. Where is it we're going? Right now we're headed to the next town. But where the road takes us then... I'm afraid I don't know. Number 4. The Black Cauldron Speaking of black sheep, The Black Cauldron is largely remembered as the financial dud that almost destroyed Disney feature animation. And what is wrong with me? Oh, oh uh, nothing. So it makes sense why Disney would be apprehensive about revisiting the IP. Since its home media release in 1998, though, this dark fantasy has gained a passionate fan base that would love to see a live-action remake. I had no idea you were so special. The 1985 film primarily borrowed from the first two books in Lloyd Alexander's The Chronicles of Prydain. Ideally, Disney would either adapt Alexander's five books into five movies or five seasons of a streaming series. Soon the Black Cauldron will be mine. Although Disney reacquired the rights to Alexander's books in 2016, there have been no announcements since about a live-action version. Disney is sitting on a promising property eager to be unleashed. You better be telling the truth. Probably not lie. Not this time. Number 3. Treasure Planet Brace yourself, Doctor. <laughs> Another box office bomb that deserved to perform better? Treasure Planet's financial failure is often attributed to the dwindling audience of traditional animation. Don't you get it? I screwed up! I mean, for two seconds, I thought that maybe I could do something right. It's also possible that the idea of pirate ships in space was too out there for mainstream audiences. Considering that most sci-fi movies copy and paste the same old visuals, though, we can't think of another film that looks quite like this fusion of futuristic and retro. It's devolving into a... a black hole! These visuals would translate wonderfully to live action, but it's the cast that would sell a remake. Some of our favorite fan casting choices include Tanner Buchanan of Cobra Kai as Jim Hawkins, Natalie Dormer as Captain Amelia, and John Goodman as Silver. 
the filmmakers could even revisit unused ideas from the cancelled Treasure Planet 2. You're something special, Jim. You're going to rattle the stars you are. Number 2. Atlantis The Lost Empire Welcome to the city of Atlantis. You might be noticing a trend. Just because a Disney film underperforms upon release doesn't mean audiences won't eventually recognize the artistry on display. Atlantis has taken on a life of its own on the internet, with some of the most spot-on fan casting we've ever seen. Standouts include Andrew Garfield as Milo, Zoe Saldana as Kida, and Morgan Freeman as the King, just to name a few. Honestly, if Disney does greenlight a live-action remake, the casting director's work is already done. You just want the solid gold Cupid doll. Reports of a possible live-action adaptation have surfaced in recent years, although directors Gary Trousdale and Kirk Wise were both skeptical of such rumors. The potential for a remake runs 20,000 leagues deep, but for now, Atlantis is still waiting. Go get him, Figer. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Brave. Go all in with a PG-13 rating. I'll not let you kill my mother. Meet the Robinsons. A longer runtime could flesh out some of the side characters. You messed with the wrong family. The Last Unicorn. With modern technology, Peter S. Beagle's book would work just as well in live action. The Phantom Toll Booth. We'll take this over yet another Alice in Wonderland remake. Over the bed, you dragonfly! Joshie. The Fox and the Hound. With real animals that don't talk. Come on, Copper. Get out of the way. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Road to El Dorado Come on. I, I, I gotta put... Stay. I, uh, I just won't... Just stand there. For three days? It went overlooked in theaters, but this DreamWorks animated adventure has since produced a goldmine of memes in a testament to its ever-expanding fanbase. Witty, enthralling, and gorgeously animated, it's a wonder why Eldorado didn't do better. But there's definitely an audience for a live-action remake. But uh, we don't have a map. We don't have a plan. Oh, that's what makes it interesting. You're right! What are we waiting for? It would actually be fitting since The Road 2 comedies starring Bob Hope and Bing Crosby served as one of the film's inspirations. El Dorado itself would look stunning in live action. And if DreamWorks is more open to a PG-13 rating, they can take the risque moments a step beyond. What names may we call you? I am Miguel. And I am Tulio. And they call us Miguel and Tulio. Casting is the most integral element of any buddy picture, and we have two pitch-perfect actors in mind for Miguel and Tulio, Pedro Pascal and Oscar Isaac. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.